everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lessons with Guitar Man. My name's Aaron, and I'll be your designated driver here today for this really cool tune called The High Road. Now, this song is actually a Tim O'Brien song. I originally heard it off of a Brian Sutton CD, but what a really neat tune this is. Um, I really like it because the melody is very distinct and the chords are really cool. And in the B section, it goes from an E minor to an F sharp major to a B to a C, which is a little bit outside, I guess, the key of uh, E uh, Dorian or E minor. It just has a really neat jingle to it, and I really like the way this thing sounds. Today is also a special day for me here at Lessons with Guitar Man. Once I upload this thing tomorrow or the next day, I'll have 25 videos down and almost a year at hacking away at this. Great Scott! And I'll have to say, I never thought I'd get this far, but I'm really excited. Hopefully you like today's lesson and get a whole lot out of it. So let's go ahead and dive right in there and see what makes this thing work. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the pickup line. The pickup measure has an open and a three. Open three. On to measure number one now, the first four notes you're going to see are an open, open, slide from three to five. So open, open, slide from three to five, getting that unison thing with the open A ringing on top, and then a two, open, three. Two, open, three. All right, and that whole measure is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Okay, and moving on to measure number two, you're going to have an open, two, three, open, open, two, three, open. And the last three notes in that measure are going to be three, three, open, three, three, open. And measure number two all together is going to sound like so. So one, two, ready, go. All right. So measure number three is going to be two, open, three, open, two, open, three, open. And the last four notes in measure number three are going to be two, three, open, two, two, three, open, two. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Right, and moving on to measure number four, you're going to have a three, five, two, three, three, five, two, three, and then an open, two, three, open. Now this one's a little bit tricky because we have to jump a little bit here and kind of do the old three, five, back to two, three, open, two, three, open. And in context, that sounds like kind of a neat little falling back type sound there. All right, so let's go ahead and play through the first four measures, including the pickup line, and then we'll move on. So one, two, uh, you know what to do. Now moving on to measure number five, what we're going to have here is an one, open, and then the, the old three to five, and then a five open, two, open, three. So it's one, open, three to five, slide, then a five, five and an open together, two, open, three. So, okay. And moving on to measure number six now, you're going to have 
A open, open, three to five, then a double open. So measure number six is gonna sound like so. Okay, and then moving on to measure number seven, what we're gonna have here is a three, hammer on to four, like so, and you're gonna do that two times with the B string ringing on the bottom there, and it's gonna be three to four, and you can hear that B ringing on the top there. So it's three, hammer four, again, and then you're gonna go back to your three here and slide from three to two, open, to open. So kind of like a bluesy lick there. So you got all right in measure number eight you're gonna have a two and two strums on the G, B, and E or the top three strings open twice. So two and then the last two notes are gonna be open three. So measure number eight is gonna sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, so let's go ahead now and play through measures five to measure number eight, and then we'll move on to the B section. One, two, a you know what to do. Alright, well there you have the last four measures of the A section, so let's go ahead and play the entire A section through one time so you can hear what that sounds like, and then we'll move on to the B section. So one, two, uh, you know what to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the B section now, and in measure number nine, you're going to have an open, three, open, two, open, three, open, two, and then you're going to have a three, two, open, three. So open, three, open, two, three, two, open, three. All right. And measure number nine slowly will sound like so. Okay. And measure number 10 here, we're going to have a hammer on and a pull off. Two, hammer three, pull off to two, and then we're going to go down here and grab this note, which is a little different. Um, and it's going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Then if you look at measure number 11 there, you'll notice that we have the exact same thing where we're doing a two to three, pull off again to two, and then an open here. Um, but it's the same exact move as we did here. We're just moving it down a set of strings. So you got two, hammer three, pull off to two, and then an open, two, and then an open. So measure number 11 will sound like so. One, two, ready, go. And moving now to measure number 12 over this C chord here, you're gonna have an open, one, open, and that's the same thing like this. And here it's, but you're using the open string, so it's open, hammer, pull off. So that's just one strike with the right hand, but three notes. One strike, one strike with the right hand, or one pick, I should say. Okay, so open, one, open, two, one, open. So measure number 12 together is gonna sound like so. One, two, ready, go. 
All right, now let's go ahead and play from measure number nine through measure number 12, or the first four bars of the B section, and see what that sounds like slowly. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. So moving on to measure number 13 now, you're going to have a one, two, open, one. So one, two, open, one, and then a two, open, one, two. One, two, ready, go. Okay. And moving on to measure number 14, we're going to have an open, open, two, open, 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 two, open, then a two, open, two, open. And that whole measure together, or measure number 14, is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Alright, and you'll notice here in measures number 15 and 16, we have the exact same uh, ending lick as we had in the A part, so there's nothing new to learn there, so we've made it through the entire B section. Alright, so let's go ahead and play through measures 13 through measures number 16, or the last four measures of the B part, slowly. So, one, two, ready, go. Alright, well there you have the entire B section, so let's go ahead and play one time slowly through the B part and see what that sounds like. One, two, ready, go. Well, there you have the B section of the high road. So, <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, there you have the entire B section of the high road. So let's go ahead now and play through this entire tune slowly, exactly how it's supposed to be played. And that'll be a wrap on this song. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Okay, some final thoughts on this song for you. There's a few tricky sections in here. The uh, This part in the A section when it goes... That part's a little bit tricky, so pay close attention to that. And also in the B section when it goes... If you're not real familiar with this song, I would recommend going on YouTube and listening to Tim O'Brien or Brian Sutton play it. It's just a fantastic tune and you'll get so much from it. Maybe you can take this to your next gig and have a good time with it. All right, well, that's a wrap on this video. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email in the description listed below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you down the road.